Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Foma. To the new blaze, don't rush out. The storytelling platform is a gist platform, basically. And to the old bits, you know already that you're the real MVP. Thanks for coming back again. Thanks for coming to listen to my gist. If you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe, turn off your notification button, and wait till the end of the video to give it a like so that you can really share the gist. <music> you attire i'm coming to preach okay not really preach for those of you that don't know the meaning of fmgo fmgo means future mommy geo i'm not intending to be a mommy geo even in future i'll still be future mommy geo do you get the point before i start i want you to know that this gist is coming from a positive side i don't want you to have this negativity mindset while listening to the gist I want you to have a positive mindset while listening to the gist. In life, generally, I want you to always have this positive mindset. Say, my work is going to be okay. My marriage is going to be fine. Everything about it is going to be good. My health is going to be good. Consciously say these things to yourself. Even if things are going wrong in the society, marriages are crashing, relationships are going sideways, people are stabbing people and all those stuff. Always have it in mind that your relationship is going to work. Your job is going to go well. Everything about you is going to go well. Your friendship with people, your relationship with people is going to last. So when you have these things in mind, you will not come from the side of negativity. Okay, to so the gist of today. Lately, we all know that marriages in Nigeria or all over the world have been crashing more than expected or more than it's the way it used to crash. And what is the reason? I don't really know. I'm not married. So I'm not going to be giving advices like a married woman. But I'm going to be giving this just based on observation. When this relationship crash, when these marriages crash, the women come out or some women come out and say, Oh, after all I've done for him. Oh, after building him. Oh, after this and that. And some people, maybe it's on social media, they come out to say those things. Some people will not be like, Mrs. Builder, you can build somebody else, but you did not build yourself. How did you build him? Or they start asking, in what way did you build him? This man had money before. In what way did you build him? In what way did you sacrifice? And all those stuff and all those stuff. I feel such comments comes from people that don't have common sense. Sorry for using that word. But actually, people can build people without building themselves. So you come in and saying, or trying to mock them saying, um, they build, they say they claim to build somebody, whereas they are not built. It's actually coming from a senseless angle. If you've not been in the relationship with them, if you were not in the relationship with them, if you were not in, in anywhere close to them, you are not in the family, you don't have any right to ask such a question. Actually, we all know that some women, the only thing they offer is their body, especially in relationship. But in marriages, I know some sacrifice their career. Some sacrifice their time, some their money to make this relationship, to make these marriages work. I've seen posts like that. I've seen screenshots like that. I've seen comments like that. And it agitates me like, why? Is, is this kind of comments come from men? I'll be like, why will you say such a thing? Like, you are not in the relationship with these people. You don't really know whether this woman actually sacrificed herself. For this relationship, you don't know whether she sacrificed her career for this relationship. For example, there are some villages that you build my heart, I build your heart. So they go and build another person's heart, and they don't they don't even build for themselves. So there are places that you farm for me, and find I farm for you. Some farm for people, and they don't have farms for you to come to come and reciprocate. So this is the, the I'm just using this scenario so that you understand some women that said that say I build this man and they are not built. Okay, now to the story of today. I met a childhood friend recently and I'm going to twist the story a little bit so that those that know me that are watching this video won't know who I'm talking about. So don't come and ask me who is the person I'm not going to tell you. I met a childhood friend recently and I was asking about his parents and he was like, oh, they finally divorced. Growing up, we know that this couple actually always have Rifts, you know, they always have troubles. 
the boy was like it was a guy he said um after all my mom has done for my dad they decided to remarry somebody else in fact according to the gist they married the person it wasn't really marriage they were they started staying together even the divorce but the woman was hoping and praying that the marriage was going to work this is a marriage of 20 something years they married very young the man was a great two teacher same thing as the woman they started from a room then they moved from a room they had their first son they moved from a room they went to i think a flat or something the man felt that time it was a government so that time government owed teacher a lot so they started building things a little bit the man decided to further why the woman was taking care of the boy she got pregnant again in fact she kept having children then the man went for nc all the money the salary government will owe them home when the salary comes he doesn't drop the money at home he gathers the money because he wanted to further his education so he went for nc when the woman receives her salary she used it for the home and she still gives part of this money to the man so the man collects his own without dropping at home. They have a family, they have children. The woman gives him her money. He collects it. He got his NC, went for his first degree, went for his second degree. This woman still remained a grade two teacher, teaching in a primary school. I think she was even in the nursery section or so, because with grade two, she could not go higher than I don't know the class she was teaching, but I know she always teach small children. She didn't go higher than that level till we left the where um, um, where we're staying. She didn't leave that level. But the man did his first degree, did his second degree, then did his third degree. The woman was this great two teacher. This man was not dropping money at home. Her career was on a halt. She was spending her money, everything, up, and she. As a submissive wife, and you know they always talk about submission, submission. She never made the children or the family to know. How did these children even know? Is when they grew. This man had everything. Then he became a doctorate degree holder. He went and got a job in a college of education around that side. I don't want to mention the disabilities in Nigeria. He got a job in college of education. I, I guess started mixing up with elites. And his wife was not his class anymore this woman gave her time what i'm saying is no matter of 10 years or 15 years this sce first degree second degree and phd so she gave her time she gave her money she halted her career for a man after doing that the man felt this woman is not my level anymore started misbehaving i don't know the kind of friends um, the man had after everything i think he got a young girl and started dating because it caused the problem the man the woman started developing um psychotic um tendencies i think the thing was affecting her after a while um, they took her to the hospital and all the man abandoned her later they talked to the man the man came back took her home but it was still with that lady in school the lady he was dating in school i think the lady was a student then later she finished and got a job in that same higher institution the college of education so they saw themselves as much the man finally got married to the student this woman is now in her 50s where is she going to start something she started earning i felt terrible and i know the woman she didn't say it was the son i saw and it was the song that was saying after all my mother has done for my father imagine such a woman coming out and saying after all i've done with this man and one person is saying mrs builder you can build a man but you did not build yourself doesn't make any sense she was just like a bricklayer I didn't think it's true. She was thinking she was supporting her family. Probably the man was telling her, I'm doing this for us. 
when the money comes, we are the one that we enjoy it. It's our children that we enjoy it. And all those and all those. This man did not even pay school fees from for a long time. Because he was doing he was going for his career. She was hopeful. Giving her all this woman used to sell everything. She sold eggs, she sold clothes, she sold everything. Who don't know this woman for streets? If I mention her name, some of us will know, especially people that know me, will know this woman. And at the end, this marriage went sideways. Thank God she had good siblings. Some of them are abroad and they took her in and all that and all that. But one thing I want to say is don't sacrifice what is too much to be sacrificed. Jesus has sacrificed his life already. Stop sacrificing your life, dear woman. As the man is developing himself, be developing yourself. I don't know if it goes the other way, but I know it's common with women sacrificing more for men. As the man is sacrificing, uh, as, the, as the man is uh, developing himself, you develop yourself. He went for NC, he went for first degree, he went for second degree. You did not go for NC. Some women are the ones that have rich parents. They carry the money their parents maybe willed for them, give it to the man. The man will build an empire. They will sit down and not do anything. The man will be promising them, and I'm doing it for us. And they accept. At the end of it, see, people change. Change is the only constant thing. Like I said, I'm, I'm not giving this just so that you start thinking negative. I'm just telling you that when you are acting, especially in relationship, use common sense. Both the man and the woman. You can't keep building somebody. And you are not building yourself. You might end up regretting it. People change. Change is constant. Sometimes you get tired. When you look at, maybe the man got tired like, ah, I can't even take you for parties. Maybe when elites are seated, this woman cannot talk then. You know, maybe her English is not so polished like the way, like the women he sees when he's teaching or the women he sees around his work area. I was, I, 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 Jordan had wives also. But he chose Stella. How do you think his first wife will, be, will feel? Oh, now Stella feel the first lady now. Because as the man was improving on himself, they were not. Me, I don't want a situation whereby I can, I can stand up and talk and this my federal ministry is moving and all. And my husband cannot cannot match with the set of people that I meet with the caliber of people that I meet number one, I even want people to marry their class if you know this person is not in your class instead of frustrating this person at the end of the day, go with your class stop frustrating somebody's daughter or son same thing for the women I remember then, women will say eh, Sophia has money you, will not, you are a degree holder but you are getting married to a mechanic that cannot even speak correct english at the end of the day you are cheating or when you are going out with your set of people with your caliber of people you go with somebody else because your husband is not presentable and dear husband too this woman is improving on herself she now has degrees and you sat down there's open university and all those if you know you can't do it then don't go for that particular woman because you will be frustrated and at the end of the day this thing might cause risk and there will be a break up i really feel sorry for this woman but that is my own sukobo as somebody is sacrificing for you you sacrifice for them as you are building this person let the person be building you if you refuse to build you you build yourself at the end of the day there will be balance and you will enjoy your relationship like i said i'm not married so i'm not giving this advice like a married person i think i've become too serious in this gist like i said i put on the armor of fmgu thank you for listening to this um topic thank you for watching to the end if you enjoy this gist please give it a thumbs up if you have a story that relates or you can relate to this um story please let us hear it how did the person cope how is the person doing let us cheer ourselves up on this platform until next time see you again Thank you.